Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here. Uh, all right, so I did a video a while back on Telegram notifications uh, in conjunction with Home Assistant, uh, specifically for Android devices. I didn't feel like Telegram worked very well with Home Assistant. Um, the setup was kind of different. You had to have a Telegram bot, and you had to have your chat ID. You had to ever have everything built out in Home Assistant. So I was really looking for another uh, application that would work well for Android devices. And I really think that Push Bullet is uh, definitely the way to go. Alright, so there are a couple of prerequisites that you're going to have to have in order for this tutorial to work. One is you're going to have to have a Push Bullet account. Uh, so if you go to Push Bullet's website, you can sign in with your Google account or Facebook, however you want to do it. Secondly, obviously you're going to have to have the app downloaded on your device. So if you're using iOS, you're going to download it on your iPhone or your iPad. And if you're going to use Android, then you'll download it on that device as well. Other than that, once you have that stuff ready, then you're good to go. For All right, for this video, uh, let's just run down the list of everything that we are going to do for this video. So for starters, I'm going to show you how to get your API key. Um, that you'll need from the push bullet site in order to set up your component. Uh, next, we're going to set up the notify component. Uh, and then from there, we uh, are going to set up a test script that we can use to uh, test out the notify component. And lastly, we'll go ahead and see what that looks like at Home Assistant and test it out. So let's get started. All right, so for the API key, we are going to go to pushbullet.com and you'll get logged in. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go sign into Pushbullet. Um, I'm using my Google account, so I'll sign in with that. And once I'm signed in, the next step uh, as far as getting your API key is just to go over here to settings. Where it says access tokens, uh, you're just going to click on create an access token. Click on that, it should pop up with an access token. And you can just copy and paste that, uh, save it somewhere, because uh, you're going to use that in your Home Assistant configuration. Now we are ready to set up the Notify component. Alright, so let's go ahead and edit our Notify.yaml file. And I'm just going to scroll down here to the bottom, add in a new section for my push bullet. Uh, see, the platform, of course, will be Push Bullet. And the name, I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and call it Push Bullet as well. And then the API key. Now, I'm using my secrets.yaml file, so I'm just going to. Uh, Put it in there so you uh, don't have to have it stored inside the notify.yaml file. All right, so we'll save that. All right, let's set up our test script. So we're going to edit my uh, test uh, script.yaml file. Scroll down here to the bottom. And let's create a test script that we can use to uh, send test alerts to our devices. I'm going to call it test underscore push bullet alias. I, you know, it doesn't matter. I'll just leave it the same test underscore push bullet. sequence and then we're going to go over here to service and 
And that will be the notify dot push bullet. All right, so this is where you had to add in all the extra junk for push bullets. So you can give it a title. I don't think you have to. Um, for this, we'll just say test alert. All right, for message, I'm just going to say this is a test message. And because everybody likes the ability to be able to send images as well, I'm going to add in a line to send a picture off the web. So for push bullet, we use file underscore URL. And I'm just going to paste the one I always use. Go ahead and save this. And let's restart Home Assistant for our changes to take effect. We'll give that a second to come back up. All right, so I got a whole bunch on the screen here. So I got the Home Assistant uh, front end, I got my iPhone and my Android device. We're gonna hit that test bullet script and bam, wow, that was fast. So let's see what those look like. Uh, as you can see, I've got them both pulled up side by side here and look, there it is. That is the, this test alert, this is a test message. It's got the image on there, just like we wanted. Popped up, perfect. That's it for this video. I really like Push Bullet. Much better than Telegram. I think that is definitely the way to go. All right, let's run down our list of what we did again one more time. So let's see, we uh, got our API key. Uh, we set up a notify component. We created a test script. And then lastly, of course, we tested out our test script and see what that looked like. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. So like I said, again, I like Push Bullet uh, much better than I like Telegram, especially for Android devices. Uh, I definitely think it is the way to go. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. And again, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know. I'll see if I can get something put together for you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.